Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to show you my 2017 paintings being compared to my current paintings so that you can see the developments and the progress that I've made four years um, after four years. I mean. So let's begin now guys. I'll be showing you five 2017 paintings and five recent paintings in comparison to each other. Let's begin now. I'll be showing you first my 2017 painting. So this is my first ever koi fish painting. So here it is. Here you go guys. So this is my very first koi fishes painting. And this is a tutorial based painting. I don't know if you can tell already. Uh, it's from John Main Lissondra's tutorial. So I was following his tutorials before. So this is how I did. So if you want a mirror uh, view. So yeah. So that's my old painting. And I want to show you now my recent paintings uh, to show you how I do coin fishes four years later. So let me show you one painting. Okay, this is pretty pretty recent guys. So this is how I do my koi fish painting now. As you can see there are a lot of fishes and a lot more depth and I kind of like this painting of mine now because it's an application of what I've learned uh, throughout my painting journey since the beginning of time. So I hope you appreciate this one. I really like this one when I did this one. I mean after doing this one I felt good about myself because you know it's like um, doing something you know you've improved on already. So this is my koi fish. So to place them side by side, I'm gonna place them side by side. Or not really side by side, but maybe right, like that. <laughs> so you can see now, there's not so much of a big difference. Only that here I was following a tutorial and here I was doing it on my own. Um, uh, applying techniques on my own and color mixing techniques of my own. So, yeah, you can see now. So this is more flat, I must say. It's not really flat, flat, but this one has more depth, more volume. This one is quite, it's, it's good for a beginner, right? It's not bad, right? I'm really proud of this one. That's why it's still with me and I'm not planning to paint over it. Maybe sometime later, but not so soon. So, yeah. So let's proceed now to my next 2017 painting in comparison to my recent painting. Okay, so I'm gonna put it down, both of them. Wait guys. So all the paintings that I'll be showing you are 2017 paintings guys. The rest, uh, the recent ones will be 2020 and 2021. So another 2017 painting, it's a sunset painting. Here you go. I painted this in 2017 as well. I was so addicted uh, to practicing um, every night back then. So this is my sunset painting. 2017 guys, 2017. And I have my own sunset painting um, three years later or late last year. So here you go guys, I'm going to show you now. There you go, I hope you can see. There you go. Ooh, it's quite big. Alright, so I'm going to show it like this. So this is my 2020 sunset painting. I did this uh, when I already uh, came back from Korea so I did this here uh, to be exact so this is how I do my sunset now it's really nice because I really love to paint reflections of the sky um, it suggests water without actually doing water movements right 
so this is what I want uh, this is what I like about this painting and of course the light play as you can see there the sunlight hitting the the fields and of course some darkness to suggest some absence of light or that the sunlight is not heating in some areas so this is my sunset now or this is how I do my sunset paintings now so you get an overview of how I do things now so again if I place them side by side so this is my old painting and of course yes like that okay so let's proceed now to another 2017 painting. I have to put this down first. Alright, so this one, the next one will be a flower or floral painting. Um, 2017 as well. So this is how flat my, my floral paintings are. So just to show you guys. This is how I did this, how I did the flower before. So this is a 2017 flower painting of mine. It's not really pretty, but <laughs> this is how I did things before and I'm not, uh, I cannot blame myself for uh, not being able to really look at the object and paint the real colors, real depth and texture. It's okay because I was still learning back then. So 2017. And I want to show you a flower that I just did last year, late last year. So another yellow flower. So this is how I do my flowers now. This is how I do my flowers now guys. Um, yeah, I really like this floral painting. I really like this yellow flower painting because I love yellow flowers and white flowers. And I really like this as well because of the light place. You can tell the light is coming from what? Coming from it's coming from the left side. Oh, sorry. From the yeah, from the left side. If you're looking at this video, watching this video, it's coming from here. That's why it's hitting this part as well. It's light here. And since it is covered, it's dark inside. I hope I'm making sense. But yeah, I really like this one. So this is how I do my floral paintings now. Again, putting them uh, putting, put, <laughs> sorry guys, putting them side by side or placing them side by side like that, uh, like that, okay. So you see now how I do my florals before and my florals now. All right, so I'm carefully putting them down because again, I don't want to damage any of my paintings whether they are 2017 or the recent ones as long as they are my painting I have to be very careful when I'm putting them uh, when I'm putting them here placing them back all right so let's go to a seascape painting um, I don't know do you have any idea how I did my seascape paintings back in 2017 guys this is a 2017 seascape painting that I did. Look at that. <laughs> mm, it's quite flat, but um, well, that's how I did uh, before. And I think, again, it's good for a beginner. It's not bad, bad. I mean, I was just starting then, so it's all right. So this is how I did before. And I want to show you now my recent seascape. This is one of my favorite seascape, by the way. I did this last year as well. Probably one of the best. There you go. It's a wave painting. I really like this painting because um, the waves are 
uh, the the water splashes suggest uh, movements of water, and of course the the sun is suggesting um, sunset. It's a sunset scene, only that it is focused on the water or the waves. So this is how I do my waters now. I really love painting the waters. So look at that. I guess this is one of the best wave paintings that I've done. Uh, that's why I place it or I chose it to be compared to my 2017 painting, to my 2017 wave painting because there's really a huge, huge difference now in how I treat waters, in how I see them, and uh, what I find beautiful. Before I was just painting because I was learning, now I'm painting because I want to appreciate the beauty of nature. Before I was really just learning um, and I wanted to paint everything under the sun but now I want to paint what I want to paint, what I find pretty, what I find beautiful even if it's just a random thing. So I hope you like this one and to be honest I really like this one over this one but this one I this is part of my journey I cannot just um, say that this is an ugly painting. At the time I did this, I already did find this um, beautiful, but because of developments, progress, and practice, uh, I've come up to this version, and I really like this one. And it's like growing, it's like growing up, right? It's just like your um, old self, and this is your better version. So let's proceed now to another painting, 2017 painting, and I'll be showing you again the 2020 version of it. Actually, it's not really the 2020, I just did it uh, a couple of weeks ago, so it's a 2021 version. So I'm putting this down now. Alright, so... We're going for waterfalls. This is my 2017 painting of a waterfall or a waterfall scene. You can see the date, to be honest. March 24. Oh my god! March 24! It's like what? Exactly four years ago. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even plan to take this out and oh wow. This is destiny, guys. Destiny, look at that. I want to show you the date March 24 2017 it's amazing guys like the stand that I do this video oh my god <laughs> anyway guys this is how I did my painting waterfall painting exactly four years ago right it's amazing actually it's a John oh sorry it's a Jane font um tutorial so i followed her tutorial in doing this one at first i i already did find this beautiful at the time of doing this one but again because of developments and progress and practice i've come up uh with a more or a better version of my waterfall or landscape painting and i want to show you it's kind of big guys but i don't know if it's gonna fit it's kind of big. I just did it last or a couple of weeks ago. There you go. So, there you go. It's kind of big, <laughs> but it's okay. I think it fits. All right. So, this is how I did now or how I did it recently. So, I hope you like this one. I really like this one. So, yeah. There you go guys, you can see now how I do detailing and I do waters because I love painting the waters. So if I place them side by side, okay, you can see the difference guys. You can absolutely see the difference, the improvements, right? 
and yeah so yeah that's good I really like it I feel like I'm going I'm traveling uh, back to time when I was just beginning to paint I was just learning and I was not really as confident as I was as I am now when it comes to painting I guess it's all about practice that make me gain speed and improve my ability to see that's why I love painting the nature I love painting um, real people real things real objects whether they are damaged or not I really don't like to paint imperfect things and things that don't make sense to me um, so I just want to tell you guys that improvements are not magic that have that happen to you in one sitting or overnight it happens because of continuous practice dedication and of course discipline without those uh, if you feel a painting or if you are painting only when you feel like painting um, I think that's not really discipline because you're just following your emotion I think if you really want to learn you have to somehow force yourself to learn because um, only that way you can learn how to discipline yourself discipline meaning doing something even if you don't feel like it right so sometimes I really don't feel like painting but I feel like I need to learn something that's why I might as well do it because once I start the painting or the piece there's no stopping me I think the only the hardest thing is starting right it's not about the doing of the actual thing because once you're there you're just going to be into it and you're gonna finish it that's that's what happens to me every time that I don't feel like painting but then I I've disciplined myself to to learn that's why it does it's not so hard for me to paint often or paint every day if you call that or if you may call that so I hope I've inspired you guys because four years time even if it's just a short amount of time for some of you who have been painting for years for me four years was good enough for me to learn a lot because well I was painting a lot that's why it's not about the length of time it's about how often you practice it's not about reckoning it from the time you started to the present time it's about the quality of those of that period the quality of the dedication that you gave during that period whether short or long so I hope you enjoyed this one uh, I hope you also watch my video I did yesterday because it is also in connection with today's video yesterday I did uh, show you guys my top 10 most favorite or most expensive paintings if you haven't watched that I'm linking it down below the description box and somewhere up here in the uh, cards so I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you get some inspiration from this video that in whatever you do uh, practice or practice is not you cannot eliminate practice from improvements they're always interconnected you cannot just improve by dreaming about things you can only improve by doing things so that's it I've shown you five 2017 paintings and five recent paintings I hope you like them all and I hope to see you in my next video guys bye